In this video, as quickly as possible, I'm going to go over the background options available in Elementor 2.7 and above. The purpose of this video is to remind you of some of the goals available for setting backgrounds and to inspire you. I'm not going to go over every option, but I will paint a picture of what you can do with your designs. First, let's talk about our goal. Now, this page is not a live page and it's not a pretty page. It's a, a little too busy for my taste, but uh, it does demonstrate the background features. So we're going to go over the page background setting. In this case, we're going to set a purple to white gradient background on the page. Then we're going to have two sections we're going to recreate. The top section here will have a video playing in the background. And then in the background of each of the columns, we're going to have a solid color, a picture, a gradient, and a slideshow. For the second section, we're going to also have a video playing in the background, and then we're going to have a video also playing in the first column. I'll show you how to do that. And then in the second column, we're going to go ahead and use a border overlay. In this case, we'll use a gradient. Hi, I'm Mike Prestwood with Prestwood IT Solutions. This video is part of our Presto Pro WordPress channel. If you like videos like this, please click the subscribe link and notification bell below. Okay. Let's get started. To start, I've created a new page called Elementor Backgrounds in this particular website, touchstonetruth.com, which is a blog I maintain. And let's go ahead and preview a blank page, see what it looks like in this particular theme that I built. So you can see here that the uh, page background is white, and we've got a content area here for our page. Let's first talk about the page background. So to get to the page background, you go to the page settings, which is the little settings wheel down here in the lower left hand corner. Click on style tab and then in the body style panel here, you can see here that we have our background choices of classic, which is a color or an image or gradient. Both of those options have padding. Let me first show you what it little feature here. I'm going to go ahead and set to the purple I'm going to need in a second. And then I'm going to go ahead and set the padding to 100 so that you can see this is uh, one technique for get, for using a, um, for getting a border around a page. Um, I don't like that. So I'll go ahead and delete that. Now to recreate our demo, I'm going to go ahead and use gradient. And I'm going to go from purple uh, from that particular purple to the off-white I'm using in this particular theme. And I'm going to go ahead and start the location of the second color at 50. That'll duplicate what was on that page. Next we're going to add a section that has four columns. And we're going to go ahead and set the background, a background video for this particular section here. So I'm going to select the section. Then I'm going to select the Style tab, and then in the Background panel, I'm going to go ahead and select Background Video. I'll type in my video, and in this particular case, I want it to start at 77 and go to 110. Starting with Elementor 2.7, you can utilize either YouTube or Vimeo videos. Also starting with Elementor 2.7, you can now play on mobile. For bandwidth reasons, they had that disabled before. In this particular case, let's go ahead and set Play on Mobile to No, just so I can demo a quick little feature. And let's go ahead and take a look at this on a tablet. So you can see the video is still playing on a tablet. Now we're going to switch to mobile, and now nothing shows up because we don't have a background fallback image. So let me go ahead and switch back to desktop. Then I'm going to go click on Fallback Image. In this particular case, I'll use this image right here, which is a bunch of library books. Now when I go back to Tablet, see that we still have the video. When I go to Mobile, it's now showing the fallback background of these books. All right, let's go back to the desktop. And next, let's go ahead and set the first column color here. So for this first column under Style, Background, we're going to go ahead and just do a classic of this dark red here. Rebel. Notice you cannot see it yet, and that's just because we don't have any content. So I'm going to go ahead and just throw a spacer in here. So now you can see that it's a dark red. To prove that it's a background, let's go ahead and throw some uh, text in there. So let's go ahead and put a heading here. And then I'm going to go ahead and set this to uh, just COL1, just so we can identify the column. Now I want to make it white text, and I want white text for the entire section, so important tip in Elementor, go to the section here, scroll down to typography, and set your colors here, and 
for the sake of time, I will only set the heading. <laughs> and I'll go ahead and set uh, heading to heading three, a little bit smaller. Now let's go ahead and set our second column. In this particular case, we're going to set it to an image. So on the Style tab, I'm going to select the classic background for the image. I'm going to go ahead and select the We the People image here. And then I'm going to go ahead and set it to Cover. So size equals cover. Add a spacer so I can prove that it exists. Now notice when I'm adding an image, the fallback background shows up. So that's one way to preview what your fallback image looks like with your design. I'm going to go ahead and let go of that. Now I have a spacer in here and I just want to go ahead and duplicate the spacer because I want to show you that right now it's, it's uh, showing the full width and then as I duplicate it, it's now showing the full height. As I duplicate and add more space, it's simply zooming in on that image. Okay, I don't really want any of that. So let me go back to just one of the spacers and then I'm going to go ahead and add a heading. And in this case here, I just want to put the word constitution. It's just a placeholder word just to kind of show you that it's a label. In this particular case, under content tab, I'm going to select H6, heading six from the title panel. You'll notice it's a fancy font. One of the design tricks I do is I always set H6 to a fancier font in case I want to use one throughout a theme. I just simply select H6 and voila, because nobody uses H6 in their writing, right? It's hard to get down to H5, heading five. Okay, so whenever you have white text on an image, you'll definitely want to style it and add a text shadow around it. In particular case, I want to pick one of my dark uh, colors from the theme. I want no transparency on it and probably blur factor of about three. So now it kind of pops a little bit. Now I'm sure you're noticing that we're gradually covering up our background video and we'll add some padding around this so that we can see the background video when we're done. Okay, so let's move on to the third option here. So for our third column, we're going to go to style here and we're going to go ahead and set a gradient. In this particular case, I'll pick two colors from my theme. And again, it doesn't show up until you add something in there. In this particular case, I'm just going to add this text here. So let me go ahead and duplicate this and then I'll change it to column three. So like that. Okay, so that's good enough for that, right? Although I wanted it a little bit taller. So let me go ahead and add the spacer here. I'm going to go ahead and make this 200 for the spacer so we can see more of the video and more of this image. Okay, so for the fourth column here, we're going to go ahead and add a background slideshow. To create a slideshow, you go ahead and select your images from your gallery. In this particular case, I'm going to scroll down here to some founding fathers someplace. Here we go. So here's some founding fathers. We've got Benjamin Franklin, George Mason, John Adams, and James Madison. So I'm going to go ahead and click Create New Gallery, and then we're going to go ahead and insert gallery. Now you'll notice that the slide duration is currently set to 5,000 milliseconds, which is a bit long, that's five seconds. So I'm gonna change that to 3,000 milliseconds, which is three seconds. I'm gonna leave the slide transition to fade, but you do have, you know, slide right, which looks like this. Actually, you know what, for demo, change that to one second so that we can see it faster. And then slide left, of course, is the other way. Slide down, looks like that. Okay, I'm showing you these just to give you some inspiration, you know what you can do and like that. All right, let me go ahead and put it back to fade and I'm gonna go ahead and set it to 3000. Transition of 500 milliseconds is fine, but let's go ahead and turn on the Ken Burns effect. So right now you can see the image is static. It's simply fading from one to the other. The Ken Burns effect allows you to scroll in or out. So right now it's gradually scrolling in just a little bit. So it gives it a little bit of dynamic uh, capabilities. I like it. Next, I wanna add some text in here just to kind of prove it is a a background, right? So let me go ahead and duplicate this text here. I'm going to go ahead and add it to this, to the fourth column here. Click on it to edit it. Select content. Change constitution to founding fathers. Make it center. I'm going to go ahead and grab my spacer from column two. I'm going to duplicate that. Throw that over here above it. Now you can see they're not quite lined up right. So I think what I'll do in this case is I'll keep it simple myself. Not the best design technique, but to duplicate this page, let me go ahead and click on Founding Fathers. Let me go to Advanced, scroll down here to Custom Positioning, Position Absolute from bottom so that it shows up at the bottom, lines up with it. I should apply that exact custom positioning to the Constitution as well, but for now, this is good enough for this particular demo. Now we've managed to hide our background image. So let's go ahead and click on the section. Let's go ahead and add some padding. Let's go ahead and add 100 like that. 
And let's go ahead and update. We'll go ahead and preview it and see where we're at at this particular point. So that's the previous version. And so here you can see that it showed the background, the fallback image while it, the image was loading, which is kind of nice. I like it. You can see here this fourth panel here is has a slideshow roll going and it switches about every three seconds. Next I'm going to return to our design and I'm going to go ahead and add some dummy texture because I want some separation between the two sections because they're not really designed to be right on top of each other. All right, so now I have some dummy text in here. Now for the second section I wanted to demonstrate using columns. In this case we're just going to use two columns and I'm going to go ahead and set the background image for this section. So I'm going to click on the section to edit it. I'm going to go ahead and click style. Under background I'm going to select background video. I'm going to paste in my video and then I'm going to start it at 225 seconds and I'm going to go to 235 seconds in this particular case. In this particular case I'll go ahead and select play on mobile and I'll go ahead and set a fallback image because it's always nice to do that. Now I want to place a video in column one here so when I select the column itself and go to style and background. What? I don't see vi background video. Yeah, no background video here. So how do you do this? Well, go to your elements here, your widgets, and select an intersection. And let's place an intersection in here. And I'll delete the second column because I don't really want a sub, uh, two column subsection. I just want one column. Now I'll go ahead and go to the background of the subsection. And under style, you do have a video available. Let me go ahead and paste in my video that we have on that demo page. And it goes from 74 to 130. And I'll go ahead and add a 200 pixel spacer, just like we had above. 200. And then I'll go ahead and duplicate this spacer. I'll leave it there for a second. Second column here, I'm going to go ahead and add an intersection. Again, just one column. And then for this particular intersection, I'm going to go ahead and select Style, Background Overlay. I want purple as the second color to match the demo. So let me go ahead and select this dark purple here called Jaguar, and then a dark purple called Valentino. The spacer that I duplicated over here, I'm going to now move that over here. Now I'm going to go ahead and copy my Heading 6 up here that's already styled. And I'm going to go ahead and paste it into here. and into here and then I want to write justify constitution the first one here in column one I'll change this to Roger Williams and the second one here I'll change to dot 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 to America in 1631 exclamation point and then I do want them white so I'll go to the section style scroll down to typography and for the heading color I'll select my slide off white I won't bother with any of the others because we're in demo mode and want to be fast. Okay, we've got the uh, page duplicated now, so let's go ahead and update and preview. And here's the page now, so you saw the placeholder background, and now it was books, now it switched to the video, and we have our fading slideshow here on the fourth column. Scroll down, we have a video playing within a video, so we have a video as the background and then on column one we have a video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please help me out and give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.